Today we're going to learn three iconic piano songs even a beginner could learn in five minutes or less. But they still sound impressive and breathtaking to an audience. By the way, the last song is super romantic. Perfect to play for your husband, wife, spouse, partner, or you know, that girl from math class that you're too scared to talk to. I'm talking to you, Kevin. <laughs> All right, let's get started. All right, so the first song we're gonna learn is Blank Space by Taylor Swift. This one is perfect for beginners. So for this song, instead of using complicated sheet music, all you gotta do is learn these four chord shapes up here, and you just copy and paste them onto the piano, super easy. So the first chord shape we got is a G major chord, looks like this, and then E minor, then C major, and then D sus four. And we simply repeat these four chords over and over throughout the entire song. By the way, don't worry about memorizing these. I'm gonna have a cheat sheet for you guys later on in the video. Now, the big secret to learning these four chords faster is to focus on something called common notes. So if you'll notice, when we go from G major to E minor, these top two notes stay exactly the same. All we're doing is moving our thumb from the D up to the E. Very simple, right? And guess what? When we go from E minor to C major, these bottom two notes stay the same. All we do is change the top note from this B up to this C. Now the last chord change is the trickiest, but you'll notice when we go from this C chord to the D sus, this middle note stays the same as an anchor note. It's just the two outside notes change. Not too bad, right? With a little bit of practice, you'll be able to get this down pat. All right, so now to play the song, all we have to do is play each chord eight times. So we got G, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, E minor, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, C, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, D sus, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now all of a sudden you can already play. Nice to meet you, where you been? Not to show you incredible things. Magic, madness, heaven, sin. Saw you there and I thought, oh my God, look at that face. You look like my next mistake. Love's a game, do you wanna play? Yeah, uh, so it's gonna be forever Or it's gonna go down in flames You could tell me when it's over If the high was worth the pain Got a long list of ex-lovers And you just repeat the same pattern throughout the entire song Now guess what, that already sounds great even without the left hand Now we'll talk about the left hand later and how to spice things up a little bit But first, let me show you an even easier Justin Bieber song you can learn in about 5 minutes By the way, if you like this simplified style of teaching, hit that like button I'd really appreciate it, it helps out the channel a lot Alright, so next up we got Baby by Justin Bieber Bieber, but we're gonna transform it into an emotional piano track. So check this out. Up here are the four chords we used for the last song. Now you ready for this magic trick? One, two, three, boom. It's the same four chords for this song as well. So you can already play. Baby, 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 oh, and like baby, 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 oh, and like baby, 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 oh, I thought you'd oh. Check this out. Let's add a little bit of style to this song, all right? So all you're gonna do is for the verse, you're gonna play very short like this. And for the chorus, you're gonna play long. So for the verse, play short like this. You know you love me, you know I care. Just shout whenever, and I'll be there. You are my love, you are my heart. And we will never, ever, ever be apart. Then for the chorus, you're gonna smash that pedal down and play long so the chord sounds like this. Baby, 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 no, like baby, 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 oh, and like baby, 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 oh, I thought you'd always be mine, mine. 
See how that adds a bit more of dimension to the song? Now, before we go on to the romantic song, there's actually one other easy stylistic thing you can do to transform this song into a huge crowd pleaser. But first, if you wanna make sure you don't miss out on any of these videos in the future, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell now. All right, so one easy trick that audiences absolutely die for is if you take a fast song like this and you transform it into a piano ballad simply by playing it slower. So check this out. Instead of baby, 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 oh, and like, just play it slow and emotional like this. Baby, 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 oh, and like, baby, 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 no, and like, baby, 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 no, I thought you'd always be mine, mine. Trust me, your friends are gonna need jaw surgery after how hard their jaws hit the floor with this one. Anyway, let's move on to the final song, the most romantic one. But first up, I got a cheat sheet for you guys with all the chords to these songs laid out nice and easy so you can have them right at your fingertips. To get that, just click the link in the upper right corner or in the description. Right onto the romantic song, The Scientist by Coldplay. This song makes people absolutely fall in love. Now, as you can see, the chords are actually the exact same chords from the other songs, just in a different order. How easy is that? So this time we start with E minor, then C, then G, then D sus. Now the only difference is instead of playing each chord eight times like the other songs, you play each chord four times. It's gonna sound like this. Come up to meet you, tell you I'm sorry, you don't know how lovely you are. And I had to find you, tell you I need you, tell you I said you now this already sounds great, right? But if you want to challenge yourself a little bit, there's one note that Coldplay throws in there to spice it up even a little bit more. Now all you gotta do is between the last C chord and the first G chord, you throw in a D note with your pinky. So it sounds like this. You play the C chord four times. One, two, three, four, D, G. All right, that was a little bit fast. Let me do it again. One, two, three, four, D, G. And you do the rest of the chords exactly the same. So full speed, and you're gonna recognize this if you know the song, it's gonna sound like this. Now again, you don't have to do this, but it just makes the song sound a bit more romantic. Now next up, if you wanna learn four more songs using this same simple method, click right here. Or if you wanna learn how to add in the left hand using a cool copy and paste left hand pattern, click right here. <laughs> 